Unfortunately, as a pastor, I have seen the devastating effects of addiction up close and personal. I've seen dozens of grandparents become parents to their grandchildren as a result of addiction. Our church has multiple families that are fostering and these children are placed in their homes because of addiction. And it's amazing some of the awful situations that they come out of. I've looked at many parents in the eyes and have seen tears pour down their face, as well as sometimes the opposite where they have blank stares as they've become numb to the situation. And worst of all, I've stood by the graves of several whose lives have ended prematurely as a result of addiction and substance abuse. You know, as, as I have opportunity to meet people in the community and, and get to know them a little bit, you really get to see how far-reaching and widespread the issue of addiction in our society really is. There's not an aspect of the family or the community that addiction really doesn't touch. Addiction is such a widespread pandemic, essentially. People don't realize that it could be your neighbor, it could be your friend, and unfortunately in today's society, it could even be your own child or your loved one. The national statistics say that at least one out of every four adults will struggle with some sort of substance abuse problem in their lifetime. I'd say some of the misconceptions about, uh, about addictions as a whole is that there's really no hope for it. I think that's what a lot of people see, and, and they're blind to the fact that uh, so many people need uh, help. Addiction is devastating. At its worst, it destroys families. At its best, it adds unbelievable stress and pressure to a family that will have long-term side effects. To me, I think it's because so many people, and I myself for a long time, thought it would just be easier to maybe brush it by. Maybe we could just sweep it under the rug. Maybe we could just brush it off. But that didn't help. That never once was the answer in the situation. On top of the effects of the family, addiction without a doubt has a devastating effect on the community. It creates crime, it impacts a child's welfare and education, which is going to have long-term side effects. What we have to realize is that addiction is here in Santa Rosa County and we cannot afford to ignore the problem. Being an IV drug user took me down a very dark path that I um, never realized that I could have gone down. I let this take me too far that my marriage wasn't salvageable. There were times I thought was rock bottom before. There were times I thought life was rocky, but there were nothing compared to how far I let it take me. The path actually got rougher and rougher. DUIs when I started drinking, jail time, then harder drugs came, and I knew that something needed to change. But I really didn't know what that was. That was the time that God got a hold of me and said, okay, you're at the lowest low. I have brought you to this point. It's time for you to finally start trusting me. The journey coming out of the addiction was, was to say the least, uh, remarkable. Um, I got saved, and, and God changed my life around. Everything in my life has changed since I have been set free. Um, the freedom that I have today is nothing that I could ever explain to somebody. The thing that kept me going on this is the fact that God really took me and opened my eyes to show me that there is a plan for me that does not involve my addiction that it may be a rough go, but he has me right where I need to be. I think as a community, we need to take a, a big interest in people that are struggling with addiction. You know, they're part of our community. They're part of who we are. The less addiction that there is in this community, the stronger our community will be. It's a war that needs to be fought from all sides. Law enforcement plays a part in keeping people safe. Business owners play a part in adding an extra layer of accountability. Social workers play a part in keeping children safe and helping parents get their lives back together. Churches need to play a part in offering resources and more people to come alongside individuals and families fighting this. And then families play a part by holding their loved ones accountable and getting them to the help they need. 
Think about what we can do when we all work together. You know, the Bible talks about how Jesus came to seek and save those who are lost. Our program is a faith-based addiction recovery program, no matter what the addiction is. Whether it be drugs or alcohol, whether it be pornography, gambling, you could have bad habits, anger, lying, a place where anybody could come and experience a true relationship and meet the one who will make the change in your life. The way I explain to people when they ask me where I go on Friday nights is I tell them that it's a Christian-based recovery program and that at the center of it, of the recovery, is a relationship with Christ and it's based on spiritual principles from the Bible. Faith-based volunteer support groups contribute up to $316.6 billion in savings to the U.S. economy every single year. On top of that, more than 84% of scientific studies show that faith is a positive factor in addiction prevention or recovery. But best of all, an estimated 20,000 plus lives are saved every single year as a result of faith-based recovery programs in churches. If I could tell you one thing, it would be that our recovery program is a place where you can find hope, where people will love you when you can't love yourself. where people will show you a way that is better than anything else that you could try.